and then you quit, that's what's fucked. If you weren't talking shit before the fight saying you're going to KO him in two rounds and all this shit, then it's different. Like That's why I think there's like a loss of respect there. We're so close in encounter with death, we don't even know. You're, you're, you're encounter with death right now. Any moment, anything can happen. We can die any second. And when you're dying, life becomes more beautiful. Everything you see, the tree is more beautiful. Everything. Every time we, when we have that expedition date, when we no longer be around, everything looks better. The picture is more beautiful. Everything's beautiful. Everything's more loving. You know, everything's more loving. I think death has a bad rap. How could life be so beautiful and death be bad? How, why would God want us to suffer? If everything we, we believe about God is true, which I believe too, why would he want us to suffer? How could life be beautiful and death be bad when everything is love? This week, the much-anticipated fight between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul was abruptly canceled, leaving the boxing world in shock. When word leaked out, Tyson had to pull out of the bout because of what was purported to be a brain tumor. Fans were upset and worried about the health of the renowned Iron Man as a result of this abrupt revelation, which clouded the greatly anticipated event. In a statement sent via his representatives, Mike Tyson himself conveyed his sincere apologies for the cancellation. It's difficult for me to accept this. He stated, my health must come first. I've been training hard for this fight and I was really looking forward to getting back into the ring. It was shocking to learn about the tumor. We're still in the early stages and are awaiting additional testing. However, entering the ring at this moment would be irresponsible. The boxing community was alarmed to learn that Tyson might have a tumor. The ex-heavyweight champion has experienced taking physical abuse. Many people are concerned about the long-term implications of his violent fighting style and unrelenting in-ring clashes on his health. Concerns were raised by some fans that Tyson's comeback to boxing might be coming to an end. Tell them. Realizing like how big of a mistake that he made, but I mean he's an idiot, and so he's not getting shit. So yeah, yeah, literally, literally like the next offer for him is like nothing basically, um, and like my brand only increases to like a whole another level, and it's like we probably would have been 50-50 for that fight, and now it's comeback that had captivated the interest of boxing enthusiasts worldwide. Nonetheless, Tyson's remarks also had some encouraging words. When his health gets back on track and the doctors are confident, that is, when I'm a fighter, he made a suggestion that I might see him back in the ring. I'm not giving up on this, he proclaimed, I'm fully committed to going back in there and demonstrating to the world what I'm capable of if I can get well. On it's unclear if Tyson will be able to overcome the difficulties and enter the ring again, but one thing is for sure, the boxing world has been dealt a curveball by the decision to scrap the Jake Paul match. Fans are obviously unhappy, but for the time being, their main concern is what's going to happen to one of the most renowned characters in boxing history. Tyson's next three weeks will be critical as he continues to undergo testing to ascertain the exact type and severity of his illness. The boxing community will wait impatiently, till then in the hopes that Mike Tyson's situation would turn out well. Despite a recent health crisis, Mike Tyson has remained a consistently, he's even been candid in the past about not being afraid of dying. Fans are left wondering if his bravery extends to accepting the possible ramifications of a brain tumor, as this perspective adds another dimension to the tale of his fight cancellation. Following the sudden postponement of the much-anticipated fight between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, the boxing world is embroiled in a whirlwind of uncertainty and controversy. Tyson's camp claimed that the pullout was due to the finding of an apparent brain tumor. Jake Paul, a former YouTuber who is now a boxer, has become a vocal critic, and his charges have clouded the whole case. Paul, a pro at manipulating social media, posted a skeptical video message on his channels. Is he making fun of his millions of followers with this kind of cruel joke? Really, a brain tumor? We've all noticed that Mike, lately, you've been appearing uneasy in training. Let's speak honestly, you're afraid to enter the ring with me right now. Braggadocio's statements, they provoked the inevitable barrage of responses. A number of admirers expressed their reservations, which were stoked by the news' fortunate timing, to Paul. Mike would never leave like this. Holding fast to their perception of the fierce competitor who ruled the heavyweight class, they quarreled. The story must have more to it. They resounded, calling for openness. Still another group, though, recommended moderation. 
Brain tumors are not anything to giggle at. Tyson's health and CED should be the first priorities. Let the man handle things in private. Boxing could wait, they said, but his health could not. This more deliberate approach brought attention to the situation's human component, reassuring everyone that the core of the dispute was a grave medical condition. In the meantime, the world of professional boxing was caught in the crossfire. While cheering Tyson on, trainers and pundits couldn't help but notice the strange timing of the tumor news, which came just before a major fight. A seasoned boxing commentator acknowledged on national television that it's fishy, but medical documents are real. Is it possible? Despite the conflicting responses, this skepticism, which was also tinged with concern, reflected the overall disquiet that existed within the boxing community. Jake Paul persisted in stoking the controversy by publicly mocking Tyson on the internet and even going so far as to seek medical records as evidence of the tumor. Openness is essential. Mikey purposefully heightened the drama with a sharp tweet. Present the evidence to us, or enter the ring and confront your worries. His the public split further as a result of the ceaseless attacks meant to portray Tyson as a coward, with charges coming from all directions. Uncertainty surrounds the real reason behind Tyson's withdrawal. Is this a well-thought-out escape strategy to stave off a possible defeat, or is there really a life-threatening sickness at play? The answer will only become clear with time and possibly with some medical disclosure. There's no denying that the story surrounding Tyson and Paul's postponed match is far from the bout has evolved into a social media spectacle over time, leaving fight fans hoping for a clear image within the cloud of doubt. Tyson's management announced that the YouTuber turned boxer had been pulled out due to an alleged brain tumor. Jake Paul has an alternative viewpoint, and it's creating a lot of controversy. He mocked Paul, who was well known for his online antics, for launching a full-fledged social media offensive in a video that was replete with signature swagger. Come on, brain tumors are the oldest justification in history. This is, at its core, an issue of fear. The heat is getting to Mike's nerves. He continued by criticizing Tyson's most recent training video, highlighting alleged flaws and a lack of dedication. Observe him at the gym. Paul admitted to being hesitant and lethargic. His eyes are no longer filled with fire. He is aware of my increased youth, speed, and hunger. He simply couldn't handle being knocked out by a YouTuber child. A segment of the fan base found resonance with these charges. Paul's remarks confirmed to many people who were already dubious about the timing of the news that Iron Mike wouldn't back down from a challenge. They contended that Paul's statements are the main reason why this whole affair stinks to high heaven. Conspiracy theories began circulating, analyzing every aspect of Tyson's training camp and looking for discrepancies in the boxing. The world is still suffering from Mike Tyson's decision to back out of the highly anticipated Jake Paul fight and the fight community was shocked to learn of an apparent brain tumor. A fresh update from Tyson himself has given the situation a shot of defiance and hope. An increasingly determined Tyson spoke to his followers personally in a video message that was shared on social media. I understand that you're all upset that the battle had to be called off. Resolute, trust me, I'm more disappointed than anyone, but right now my health has to come first, he said in a hoarse voice that started off. He continued by providing further details about his illness, saying that the medical professionals had predicted a seven-month recuperation period. With a hard glare in his eyes, he repeated it. It's a long time, but I'm not giving up easily. I've overcome difficult situations in the past, and this is just one more fight I must win. A sizable segment of Tyson's fan base found resonance in his remarks. Knock the fuck out on July. Oh, oh shit. Yes. Oh, you really think that? Um... So here's the thing, man. Uh, you know, Iron Mike Ty I love you for free. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Start with that. laughs> but uh you know, Fuck, there comes a yeah, point in time yeah. where you gotta be realistic and you might be taking a big bite of his ear. God damn no. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is, it is. I'm I am biting off a lot. This is definitely the the toughest, most savage, lethal opponent, regardless of age. Because the power is the the last thing to go, uh, but the reaction and reception of it has been insane. Like I can't, I almost can't even believe it. So very surreal and very, very, very you grateful for all of that. See one of them punches. Yeah, we're gonna see. I want to see how hard he hits, Mike. I, Mike, I I really want to see, bro. Let's see 
all the legends, the myths, because you're Iron Mike Tyson, but I have an iron chin. People know that. Like, I, I take shots. So I think people are underestimating that me being able to deal with his power. And that is what something uh, that is going to make it interesting. Obviously. There's no nerves in you at all about this. No, not at all. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Like I can't. Encouraged by his tenacity, supporters who had first questioned the validity of his withdrawal came together in support of him. Supporting responses poured into social media, with many fans pleading with him to put his health first and come back stronger. Iron Mike, we'll wait for you. Many remarks wished him luck and urged him to return to show conceited Jake Paul what a true legend looks like. The overwhelming show of support provided a potent counterbalance to the negative discourse that had dominated discussions about the battle. Jake Paul, in the meantime, responded to Tyson's statement on his platforms, unfazed and true to fashion. Seven months, really? In a video replete with his customary arrogance, he mocked. You'll be too old to even climb into the ring by then. The entire situation is a farce, a last-ditch effort to maintain composure. You are aware that I am unbeatable. So you weasel out with this made-up illness, Mike? In addition to further alienating some followers, his disrespectful remarks also won him support from his own, devoted following the intensification of the online verbal sparring, which highlighted the stark differences between the two camps despite the ongoing scandal. Paul's taunts don't appear to face Tyson, as he keeps posting glimpses of his training routine on social media, demonstrating his commitment to getting back into fighting shape. He said, I ain't letting this tumor slow me down, in a recent post that included a video of him striking the MS with unexpected dexterity. Jake Paul best get ready because come fight night, I'm going to be stronger, quicker, and more hungry than ever before, and that conceited kid is going to get what's coming to him. I'm training every day and pushing myself harder than before. It remains to be seen whether Tyson can actually overcome the odds and make a comeback to the ring at the age of 58. But one thing is for sure, his recent message has sparked interest in the fight between him and Jake Paul among the general public. The fight was once clouded in doubt, but now it has the added intrigue of a comeback story. Mike dispels his naysayers and achieves his earlier success. Time will tell, but one thing is certain, Tyson's comeback to the ring is going to be a long wait. The story surrounding this fight is far from finished.